As Lee Jackson chatted with friends in his hospital room, he told me how he was walking out to his car, leaving Elsa's in Kettering early Sunday morning, when he saw his friend getting attacked by another group. Apparently they were just yelling and screaming about Trump this, Trump that, and all my friend Dustin was like, he was just like, simmer down now. And that's all he said, you know, not aggressive way or nothing. And they just, that's what provoked them to start beating this guy up recklessly. Lee tried jumping in to stop them, but was quickly outnumbered. Four or five of the guys had got me strapped, like pulled across my girlfriend's car hood. And so they had me held down on the car hood, while the biggest ones just punched me in the face repeatedly. And like I'm yelling at him, screaming at him, like, and I felt my face break when it broke. And I told him, I'm like, guys, you just broke my face for what? Like, why are you doing this? He says some of the onlookers were recording the incident on their cell phones. When servers from Elsa's came running out to help and called 911, his attackers ran away. The owner tells me they didn't see the two groups interacting until they got outside. We don't know what was said between the two parties out in the parking lot. We just know that it was, you know, all clear on the inside. Police have not made any arrests, and Lee, who doesn't have any health insurance, will have to pay out of pocket for surgery to repair the fracture on his face. I didn't do anything to deserve this. I was just trying to help my friend, protect my girlfriend, and this it was ludicrous. It was savage. It was